Alrighty y'all, welcome back to the channel. I've wanted to make this video for a long time and today it's gonna happen. We're gonna head over to the track man soon and see exactly how far I'm hitting each club in my bag. I have not made a video yet on my channel going over to the track man. I know you guys have seen plenty of those, but today we're really just gonna focus on how far I'm hitting each of my clubs because everyone in good good seems to hit it super far. You know, Tig hits it super far, Garrett but I'm not that far behind them as people think. I feel like I'm hitting my clubs really far now. My eight iron is going a really solid distance and these new clubs are just, they're going so much further than the JPXs. So I wanna really make this video today and go through the entire bag, even up to my driver, hit a bunch of drives for you guys and look at the numbers and exactly how far I'm hitting each club because I, I've gained a lot of yardage and it's just good to go onto the track man and make sure we're dialed in. So you guys will see all the numbers that I'm gonna be putting up today. It's gonna be a really fun time just really dialing in these numbers and going through my entire bag and showing you guys. So let's head over there now and see exactly how far we're hitting them. Let's go. All right guys, we have made it to the office here. I don't know if I've ever shown the office on my channel, but I mean, it's a really special place. I gotta say, we got all the drops here. We got good, good. We just put this in. This is our gaming setup for those of you out there that play video games, Call of Duty, anything. We did an optic and good, good thing. This is really cool. This is the track man. Podcast room, Colin's editing, and Max's editing room back there. This is a special little setup here too. Got the track man dialed in. Yeah, we're gonna get right into this video. This is the first video I've done on the track man, but today we're not playing golf or anything. We're just looking at how far do I hit, do I actually hit my clubs? This will help me on the course too, to really dial in those distances. So let's get right into this. I'm gonna start out with the 60. And I'm gonna hit five shots with each club. We'll get a little average going. So after my first five, I'll come back and we'll put a little average up on the screen, what I'm guessing it's around. And then, yeah, we'll go from there, let's go. All right guys, we're really focused on the carry distances today. So we're gonna hit a 60 here. I don't really, a wedge is not, I'm not gonna try and really swing at this super hard. These are just nice standard 60 degrees, but that's our main focus is the carry yardage. I mean, these are nice full swings, I will say. Like, I'm not trying to kill it, but they're nice. This is a nice committed 60 degree. Kind of in that area, 99 to 95 yards, just a full 60. 96, same exact number. Yeah, those are, those are, that's pretty close to what I would say when I hit my 60 full on the course, I hit about 95 yards. That's what I would say. I mean, obviously if I do swing at it a little harder, I can get it up to hundred, but 95 is pretty, that's a good number for my 60 there. On to the sand wedge. Let's see how far this puppy goes. I would assume this is gonna go about 110 yards. 110.2 right there. 108, okay. Pretty, this is what well, this is exactly what I was expecting. 109, 109, 109, 110. We're dialed, we are dialed on that 110 number. 108. It's just awesome, I gotta say, it's just so awesome to have this track, man, because it really it gives you that like that reassurance when you're out on the course on how far you actually do hit your club. So when I get 110 now, I know. It's a 56, a nice full one. Okay, 111. And I'll swing a little bit harder and that's only a yard further, that's funny. That's, that's a pretty full, I mean that's a good rip out of 56, 113 yards. I'm gonna say a nice stock swing with the 56 degree is 110. So that's a good number for me, I really like that. Now we are moving on to my 50 degree. I would say I hit this 50, about 125, 120, 125, right in there. Man, this F thing is just so accurate to what I'm thinking. It's really coming out close to exactly what I'm thinking each time. We're really focused on just today, the carry distance. Not too much where it's going, but I'm, I'm noticing everything's going a hair left, so straighten it out a little bit. 125, there it is. 125, that's pretty standard for me. 126.8, that's solid. Last one here. All right, that was good. That was solid there. So we got our, after those, we got our 60 going about 
95 yards, our 56 going about 110. This is going about 125. On to our pitching wedge now. This is where it's gonna to start to get interesting. So once we get up to our irons, our three wood, this is where it's gonna to start to get, I don't know, it's just gonna show me exactly what I've been thinking. So I'll guess it right now. I'm saying I'm hitting this pitching wedge 140 to 145 full. Okay, 138 there. 135. Okay, we're a little bit shorter than what I thought. 135. Going up to 140. 136. Come on. I like those numbers though. I'm hitting it pretty straight there. 35. So, kind of, I'm hitting a little shorter than I thought I was actually going to hit it. Pitching wedge is going a little, I really did think I was hitting my pitching wedge on the course closer to like the 145, 50 area. Say after coming on here, I'll, I'll give it, it's a weird thing. I think on the course I do hit it a little farther than that. I'm gonna say, hit my pitching wedge around 138 on here. We'll go with that right around that number. It was kind of averaging right in that range there, but moving on to the nine iron here. Now this should go, this should be up at 150 right around that area. 155 there. So we got a nice little jump up with the nine iron. Here we go, 155 the first one, let's hit another one. 150, kind of what I was thinking right around there. Pull 152, kind of what I was thinking. There we go, 151. 152. We're really getting out at 152 with this 9 iron. 150, there it is, all right. We're right in that 150, the first one was 155, lowest one kind of right there was 150, so we're right in that range there. Let's say it's going about 153 with the 9 iron. So we made a big jump from the pitching wedge to the 9 iron. Let's move to the 8 iron here. I gotta say guys, I love these irons so much. I mean, they are just, they look so good, they feel great. Just a bit of game changer getting fit for these. Mizuno clubs, they feel great, I gotta say. They're amazing. Prediction here, let's let's say, eh, I think we should hit this about 165. 165, 160, right in that range. 172, okay, 172, that's pulled a little bit. Let's try and get one straight, that's a good one. I'd say on the course it hits us about 170. 168 there. Pretty good, 64, 164. That's about a good stock swing there. That one felt really good. 168 carry, I like that. That one just felt great for some reason. Really sequenced that one up good. It's a couple eight irons there. Um, that's going, like I said in the beginning, I hit my first one pretty far, 175-ish, but then it kind of toned back to around 165, so. A full 8-iron I know on the course is going about 170. So I'd say it's been going about 170 with the 8-iron there. Moving on to the 7-iron here. It's got to go about 175. 175 to 180 full. 184. That was flushed. Perfect right there. 184. A little low on the face there. Wow, that one, 187. Caught that one almost a little thin, if I got to say. First one was a really good swing. Felt solid there. 187 carry, wow. So it's going a little bit further than I guess. I said 180, it's going about 185 on average. A little bit slower there. 180, I pulled that, not a good swing. Kind of close the face down, pull this one a little square. Kind of, let's hit a punch shot. Let's see if we can get a nice little punch right here. A little punch shot, 177 there. I was kind of hold off, it just held the face. Yeah, I would say seven iron. I kind of shocked myself. I'm up, I feel like a good swing after all those. I hit one 187, hit a lot 184. I would say it's about 185 is my average carry with my seven iron. All right, this is where it gets interesting, guys. You you know that my pitching wedge through my seven iron are the 221 in the Mizunos. They're more like the bladey style. Now we're moving on to the 223 here. This is a six iron. I just know it's gonna go further. It's a little bit hotter off the face. My six iron, five iron, four iron are pretty hot off the face, so. I feel like it should be going, carrying about 205. There we go, 199 there. It's kind of what I guess, 200 carry. That's a good six iron. I mean, I love the way these feel too. They're a little bit more forgiving. 
and they're just hot. Me and Garrett have the same exact setup right now, and I know he's really happy with his too, but this six iron, it, it feels great. It's a little bit hotter off the face than my old one. 200, that's a good little six iron there. There we go, 203. That was a complete little rope there. I'll take that all day. That's about as good as I can hit it. One degree into out, face is pretty much square to that. 203, so 199 and 203 so far with the six iron. That's good. 201, there we go. Wow, we're really, really consistent with this. A little hold off there. Pull it a little bit, 200 again. There we go, my little hold off, 196 hold off. So that wraps it up for the six iron there. I'd say right around 200 carry is my average. I know if I swing it at super hard, I can give out 205, 210. 200 is average for my six iron, I will say. All right, on the five iron. Now, I'm guessing about 210 with the five iron. I don't think there's gonna be a huge jump now. That was good there. 215, that was my best swing of the day right there. That one felt amazing. That was really good too. 215, same exact number. Those, were that, those last two swings, I can't do it much better than those. A little chunky, a little chunky there. 206, get behind that one. 215.8, that is really like consistent when I hit this five iron good. 215 is the number. There we go. I didn't hit many right, so that was actually one of the first right ones I've hit. 218 there. Wow, that surprised me, all right? That surprised me. I did not think I was hitting my five iron that far. I don't hit too many long irons, so when I do practice them, it's great to see yardages like that, because I don't ever go out to the range and just like rip four irons. I don't know what it is. I just don't like doing that. I mostly hit wedges and pitching wedges, but gotta say five iron, full swing there, about 215. So onto our four, and then we got some interesting clubs. So I'm gonna say four irons going about 225 carry. 227. That was flush too, I will say, that was flush. That was turn left, but man, I went after that. 233, carry. Pulled that, so it shut down the face a little bit, went further. A little low. Miss hit, I wanna keep the miss hits in here though. That's a good miss hit to keep in there. You're not gonna hit a foreign perfect every time. 217 miss hit is solid there. Could not have hit it much better than that. 221, carry. Solid there. All right, let's hit a nice high draw. Last one here, I think we'll go about 225. We had a good one here. 228. Pulled that one though. But I gotta say, when I hit this four iron good, I think it's going right about 220 to 225 in that range. I don't know, it's, it's kind of fluctuating in between there, but those are great. I love a four iron that's going that far. I mean, obviously you guys do know these are a little bit hotter, like I said, the 223s. Hey, if I'm gonna hit them that good and they're forgiving, I don't know why you'd ever hit a blade in like a four iron like that, because it's just so unforgiving. Like, if you miss hit a four iron butter knife, it's gonna come up way short, but you miss hit this and it still, still gets that distance, which is great. But let's move on to the hybrid now. Four iron there, now we're moving on to my 19 degree hybrid. I don't think I've even showed this club too much on camera. I don't even know if I have yet. This is a CLK, they just sent me this. The new Mizuno hybrid. I got a Ventus shaft in here, extra stiff. Let's see how far this is going. I actually have no, I, I, I literally have no idea. I would say this goes about 240. 245, 240, 245. That's what I'm hoping. 245, a little fade there. I hit that great. It just kind of peeled off. Hit that really solid. That was a nice smooth swing. 245 again. 245 every single time. <laughs> Holy moly. That is nuts. Literally every single time. Man, it's fading. That's kind of cool. 251 there. Went a little further on me. Last one. So 245, 250 area. It's kind of where we're hanging with this. And it's going a little bit right, which is interesting. I kind of like that. A little low. 242. So that was one we got up at 250, miss hit 242, averaged out right around 245. So I know if I got this, if I got 245 into the pin on a par five or wherever, this 19 degree hybrid here is it's, it's the go-to. Two more clubs left today. The driver's gonna be the really interesting one, but onto my three wood, and my three wood's hot. 
nice and hot off the face. I gotta say, should be going about 265. Once again, though, we're looking at carry. It's saying that's going 257 total. But we're really just focusing on carry today. I gotta say, I had a coffee before this, and there's some in that thing. I don't know. Put some in it. I'm freaking wired. 254 carry. I feel like that hybrid's not gonna be much behind this three wood. I feel like the three wood though just goes farther off the tee, a lot further. But off the deck, I feel like that hybrid's pretty close to the. It didn't hit that great though. 262 carry there. A little better. A little thin. I'm kind of catching these all low on the face. That was pretty solid there. 262. Path one degree out to in, so I'm right on top of it today. I'm almost fading everything with the longer club. I've been really working on staying here and it's, it's paying off. I'm trying to get away from being so stuck and from the inside. There we go. That was it. That was solid contact. 266. First time I really hit the ball solid there. There we go. 265, there it is. I hit those last two, finally, on the center of the face. But yeah, when I hit it on the center, I know it carries right about 260. So that's what we'll go with, with the three wood. Off the tee, I know it rolls out. I mean, that says it rolled out to 280. I think off the tee, I hit this three wood 275, I'd say. So that's solid there. I'll take that. That's just, it's really interesting on how far I'm hitting that hybrid. That's something that I haven't really hit on Trackman yet to see my numbers. I kind of just guessed it on the course, but 245 is the number with that club. All right, guys, last club of the day here. The driver, the big old D-stick. This one's interesting, so let's get, let's get fun with it. We'll get a little fun with this one. We'll swing a little hard. Let's see if we can get like one. My record ball speed is 176, and it was in the Good Good Labs video. We were having a long drive competition. Let's see if we can get like 171. It's right around there. 72, first swing. 300 carry. Let's go. 172. Let's just let's have fun with this one. 327 total. 300 carry. 297 carry. I hit that dead center on the face. I will say that was good. 71 ball speed. Cruising right now around 171, 172 ball speed. No, a little slower there. Still though, that was dead straight. 291 carry. 312 total. I'll take that. I caught that a little lower on the face. We still got 170 ball speed though. Whoa, baby. That one felt left. 171. All right, last one. We got to get after this. Here we go. This is just for fun. Now we're not focusing on direction. Let's try and get 176 here. I think we got it. Okay. 72. Dead straight though. 299 carry. That's so funny. The first couple swings, I gotta say, the first two swings felt amazing and those were kind of more controlled. When I swing harder, that was 172.9. So we almost got 173 there. It's like when I swing harder, I don't gain that much more distance. I don't know. That long drive competition with the boys, I was amped up, heart was racing. So I don't know how I got 176, but I did. Right there, I gotta say, driver, when I'm swinging it good, it goes right around 300. When like totally, total everything right around 300. It says I'm carrying it 300 on here. When I get out to the course though, it goes right about 300 when I hit it good. I carry it about 285, so. But guys, hopefully you did enjoy today's video. I had a great time learning all my distance because I don't even, I don't know, since I got these new irons, they've been going further and I did not really know all my distances. So that feels really good today to get those all figured out. We got those dialed in and hopefully you guys learned a little bit about how far I actually hit it because I've got that question a lot, like how far do your irons actually go? I wanted to make this video. We did that today on the track, man. Hopefully you guys did enjoy my first ever track man video. I know those, we, I know the guys have done a lot of track man videos, but I wanted to do one on here and just show you guys my actual yard. Hopefully you guys did enjoy today's video. If you did, slap that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Until next time, guys, peace Woo! out.